my channel so of course it's me again back at stupid o'clock to do makeup basically not been the best not really been motivated to want to do anything I've been in a lot a lot of pain and it is actually only six o'clock at night and it's getting so dark I think the clocks change next weekend actually as I'm filming this it is the 18th of October so I thought I would come on and I want to do a face of like my favourite makeup at the minute. Like I've just been loving this makeup. So we're just going to dive on it. Before I even start, it is no doubt going to be a long video, even if I don't really talk through it all. But I've got all the stuff that I've been loving in here. So let's just crack on. So the first thing is this primer this is the elf power grip primer it is the cheaper version of the milk hydro grip one so i'm just going to take some of this my hair is badly needing done badly so i'm just going to take some of this and pop this on my face i've got the big light on because it's getting dark but the only thing with doing that is i've got to kind of dim down the rest of this it's really adhering like it really sticks everything so that's a grand okay so that's our first pro the only thing i don't like is this just doesn't seem to stay on there it's going to stay on there right next up in the makeup bag we have a got where is my oh here we go Sample foundation. This is the Dior Forever Glow Foundation in the shade 2.5 Neutral. So we're just going to apply this. It is very nice indeed. So I'm just going to apply this all over the skin where we're needing it. This wee sample is starting to run out. Where is my brush? get my foundation brush and we will just buff this into the skin. I literally haven't had makeup on since the middle of last week. I did a look, I didn't film it but I popped it on my Instagram which is makeup with Julie 44 if you want to go and follow me on there and I just really liked a lot of the times if i'm brutally honest i like just sitting here and doing my makeup these days and not filming it i also feel like it takes less pressure to get a look so spot on and also because i haven't got the first idea of what i'm doing when it comes to editing as i have been transparent about that from the very get-go I know a lot of people don't like long videos and I always say I'm never going to chat but I can't help myself. See when I watch other YouTubers, I'm like they just do it and they're not yapping away. Like they'll come on and just go, this is the product, put it on your face and you know what I mean, they're not chatting. But then I've had people say the reason they like my videos and my channel is because I'm relatable and it's like, oh, goodness, it's like they're just with their friend just doing their makeup and I think that's like a really nice compliment to myself when people say that that I'm nice and relatable so thank you if you're one of those people that feels that way right so this is the foundation on it's very nice oh what is that got on me a little hair from the brush Okay, so the next thing I'm going to go in with is my found, eh, not foundations, my shadows. So, obviously I've been short on my stash as well, but I've picked these two palettes out. So this is the first one I'm going to use. I got this for my Christmas last year. It's a Tarte palette, but it just says Iron Cheek palette. That's all it says. And this completely fell out. 
this shade here is actually called Gingerbread Gal, which I think is so funny, and I don't even think himself noticed when he got me for Christmas. But I'm just going to use these two shades in here first, just over my eyeballs. This is just like a bone shade colour, so it's not really... I've got really dry eyelids and I get eczema prone eyelids and they're pretty much like that just now. I don't know whether it's having the heating on or that my skin's uh, drying out or what the crack is. But I'm just going to go in with the same brush. This is from the Naked Honey. And I'm just going to, this shade's called Gingerbread Gal. And I'm just going to lightly place this on my eye. But yeah, I've really not done any makeup. I don't even know what day, I would have to look back and see what day I posted that. I'm trying to think what day that I last put makeup on. But the motivation has not been there. It's sometimes really hard to concentrate if you're just in pain. But I was at the doctor today. See, this is what I mean. Anybody else would just be putting the makeup on. But I go into a story. <laughs> I try my hardest to be like, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just going to talk about the makeup. But anyway. I'll go back to just talking about the makeup. So this is just a lovely colour. Because the other palette that I've got and been loving is the Colourpop High Tide palette, which is a monochromatic palette of one of my favourite colours, which is teal. Oh, got that blurred vision there. Oh, I'm going to dim this down again. See, it's making me too washed out. Right, I'm going to... I wonder if I should put that big light off. Bear with me, please. Now, what's it doing? You see, if I put it like that, right, hold on now. Let me see if I can bring you a bit closer. Right. Yeah, so it's a very light, sort of brownie tone, but I just wanted that kind of a shade to start with because then we've got the ColourPop High Tide palette that Laura sent me. And then we've got these gorgeous shades. Oh. And see this matte shade here called Urchin, like sea urchin. Oh my God. I used this just as a liner the other day in my look and I loved it so much. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the greens in here. I'm going to go into this one here. Sorry. Gosh, this one here, which is called Flora. And I'm just going to take the small part of the other side of this brush here and I'm just going to lightly place it just underneath where I've put that colour and just lightly start. But see, I would happily just put that brown on and then use that green just all over as a liner. Right. I'm just going to use the same brush that I was using for that and I'm just, do you know what actually, let me go back into this brown. I'm just going to take that brown back over it. It might give it a wee tint. Because I'm going over it. Is it doing that? Have I ruined it, people? I think I have, but I just. Yeah, hold on. Okay, start again. Yeah, so I'm just going into that cover and I'm just going to. That's what I wanted to do. Take it underneath just where that brown sheet is so it's 
just at my crease but quite a bit under it as well. So you're still seeing a bit of the brown but you can go back into it anyway if you find that you're you are not doing that. I just love teal, it's such a gorgeous colour. And it blends so nicely. The thing with Colourpop is they can be a hit or a miss. They can have really good pigment or sometimes the pigment of certain palettes are not there. Like I did get the um, was it Lush Life palette because obviously when it came out I'm like greens need it and I used it and I also swatched it and then the next day I, I sold it because I was just like nah the pigment is just not there for me whereas I've got other um, Colourpop ones that are just amazing so that's just a nice light colour and then I am going to take the shade Must See which is this one in the middle and I'm just going to take it on my finger because it's the best way to do it and it is gorgeous and I'm just putting that where I've just put this colour and you're probably thinking well why did you bother to put that there in the first place and it's probably a valid question but oh it's so pretty I love this palette so much look at that it is stunning like I'm literally going to be 39 in December and there's a few people that have been like oh you shouldn't wear colours like this anymore in your 30s or as you get older and I'm like screw that I freaking love it absolutely love it it's just and then I'm just lightly going back in with that brush and just blending it out a wee bit and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to soak the end of this with a bit of spray. And I'm going to go back into the shimmer that I used and I'm just going to intensify it just a wee bit. And just in case we lost any of that pigmentation. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Now, wait for it. This is the bit. The ultimate bit. Take any kind of liner brush. Take your spray. And we're going to use this as our liner because it is the bomb. So I'm going to just spray the brush rather than onto the palette. And then I take it into the liner just at the side. And I am going to literally use this as my liner because it is so stunning. And as I say, you could easily just have used the brown shadow that I used and just put this over the lid as well. It's just stunning. I know you're probably thinking, can't really see it much, but if you look at the difference, you can. See, this doesn't have any of it on right now. And then I'll just give the brush another spray. And just do the same on the other eye. Oh yeah, not quite taking it the way I wanted it.
some things it needs quite a bit of the water though or the spray even just to you know get the pigment of it there but it's so nice and then I'm just going to take it again with a bit more or I'm just going to take it under my lashes as well because it's so beautiful So nice, I am obsessed. I'm literally obsessed with this colour. Like I really am. love it so much step away from the palette and then i'm just going to go in with a clean brush of some description and then i'm just going to pick up just smoke it out I'm not worried about the fact it's got a bit of fall down or going on to my foundation because we're going to use concealer. This is the Kiko Charming Escape Concealer in number two. So I'm just going to use a good amount of that. And you can clean up anything that's needing it. And I'm just going to go back in with my foundation brush I just love this look so much I have a lot of like tealy aqua greeny blue shadows because obviously it is like my favourite colour. But see this green, or this teal even, it is just something else. I love it. So pretty. A uh, powder, I'm going to use the Laura Mercy. This is just the original translucent one. I hate this packaging. It's such a nightmare to get it out. And I'm just going to put some of it into the lid. Come on. There forever in a day. Try to get, get it out of there. Got my little brushy brush. And we're just going to set where we put that concealer. Perfect. Oh, I used to wash my makeup brushes. I used to enjoy doing it when I had that Primark spray that they've stopped doing, but now it's just such a chore. Okay, so then I'm going to take. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah. Sorry, guys, dropping everything. I'm going to take this Urban Decay 24 7 liner in Electric Empire. I'm just going to line my eyes with this. This is stunning as well. Look at that liner. Like I, I don't go anywhere. I would wear this at home. I'd go out with it. I just love it. And I'm still using my Telescopic Mascara by L'Oreal. Because if you're not new here, I don't open loads of mascaras at once. A little usage of that. Ok, 
Okay, I've still got the face to do, oh, that's what I mean. Right, for contour, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Light Medium Wand. I just do a dot there to start off with. And then I've got this brush here, which is from Primark. And we just work that back up into our cheeks. Just to sculpt. Or the face. And then we are going to put some here and here and can squeeze some more of it out. But make sure to work it into your hairline as well. A bit down the snows. And then on the massive 40 chins. And that's our contour done. Okay. Then, ho, ho, ho. You need this blusher, a eh, bronzer in your life. It is the Barry M Powder Bronzer, and I have it in Tropical Heat Wave. I think this is the lightest colour. It's absolutely stunning. Now, I can't remember what brush I used for it though. Okay, we'll just, we'll just take another brush. So, again, dipping my brush in. Tap the excess off because I always do that and then we are working it into the face. I actually quite like a biggish brush that works, oh, I've got my brush there, that works in the bronzer because then it covers a better area. Oh, but I just have fallen in love with this bronzer. It's super duper nice. And as I always say, if you feel like you've taken far too much bronzer, then you can just go back in with your foundation brush. Just go over it and just merge it in a bit more. But if you're not too bothered, then that is that. Okay, now for blusher, I have got the Elf Luminous Putty Blush in the shade Maui. I think that's how you see it. I'm not entirely sure, but it's this gorgeous color here and I absolutely adore it. It's a really natural color compared to the other ones. It really is and it is absolutely stunning. Love it, look at that. So I just kind of you can never have too much blush, I think. Unless it's like a proper pinky blush, then I'm a bit more. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And I love to just take a wee bit here. So we have been loving that. And then for highlight, Becca Moonstone. Love it. Wish they'd bring it back. I'll just do a wee bit of this and I'm taking it right into this part of my cheek and concentrating it more there. Love it. Okie cokey cokey then. And then for lips, this is the NYX Matte Lip Liner, Suede Matte Lip Liner in Soft Spoken.
and unfortunately you can't get this shade anymore but this is the Chanel Rouge Allure in 162 Pensive. So nice. And then NYX Butter Gloss in Madeleine. Little bit of scent spray, and I am finito. And this is the makeup that I have been loving recently. I know it might be a bit out there to some people because it's it's pretty much almost like a smoky green eye, I suppose. It's not super duper intense, but I just absolutely love it. See that matte shade that we used this matte shade here for like to line the eyes I absolutely love it like I would happily put nothing else on my eyes and just use that as a liner and be set and happy I just love it so much so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel click the bell to be notified of when I next upload and I will speak to you next time bye